Morris, come over here. And you must be Adrienne. Yes. How did I know that? I did, I did my research tonight. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> That's good. Are you in the movie? Are you an actress? I am a makeup artist, but I did a little cameo for fun. Yeah. You're in the movie. Uh, can you tell us what you play? I play the detective. Wow. Sheriff, you play a sheriff. Right? Yeah. Well, I just upgraded <laughs> myself to detective. Yeah, she just went for it. Did he make you audition for the movie? In more ways than one. <laughs> that's what I. That's what I figured. Uh, now you're the director, and I'm interviewing her. But I'm very excited because she's beautiful. So you. She's beautiful. Actually, I'd rather interview her. But but you are the director. Yes. Now. We love Hatchet. We were the first uh, magazine to do an interview with Adam Green. Okay. So we basically made his career. So that's why we're first that's position awesome. on the on the path. Yeah. But this is your first Hatchet you've directed. This is my first Hatchet I directed. I did the camera operating on the first and second one. Um, so Adam picked me to do this one, which was very cool. Yeah. So he's, he actually is one of the guys that says, yeah, yeah, next one, next one. And he actually followed through and said he let you direct. I never asked the direct actually, but he knew I wanted to move into directing, and that's where I. Because when I moved to LA, I wanted to get into directing. I wanted to be. That's what I wanted to do. But that's I felt, odd for Hollywood. Yeah, right. I know. But I, I got into camera operating, um, and that kind of just took me in that direction. Um, and I was looking into starting to getting into directing, and then Adam knew that, and so he said, "Hey, I don't. I think you're, you'd be the best choice for this." What does your cinematographic abilities add to you as a director on a movie like Hatchet? I think uh, just the knowledge of being on all a bunch of different sets, working on bigger movies. Um, also, um, just on the daily routine of working on a set and seeing how you how, how we frame things, how you tell story through camera and camera movement, um, I think really pays off on definitely you know in directing. Not only just casting and 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 uh, working with your actors and getting the performance out of them with the story, but also telling the story through the lens itself. Now, were you tough on your DP? Um, I definitely was tough on Will. Um, Does count? <laughs> yes, it, it definitely counts. Yeah, I was very tough with him, but um, you know what? He was actually super awesome to work with. Um, listened to every idea that I had, and we just, we would got together and you know work, made it work. But he must get the job and go, oh shit, he's a DP. God damn, now I'm really got to do a good job. Yeah, well, will you know me and will have a good working relationship just from knowing each other, and the guy's like probably the fastest, most uh, efficient DP I know. Just you know, and he listens to everything you want, and he's really such a hard worker. He's great, so I was proud of him. There are some directors that DP their own movie. Uh, did that ever cross your mind? I never want to be a DP. I've never wanted to be a DP. Um, me and lighting is like the worst thing ever. I know what I want oh, in the shot. Oh, you're a cameraman. I'm a cameraman. Oh, yeah. different. Okay. But I um basically I just I, I like to to set up shots. I like to um I like to compose the shot and uh and and be a part of that. But for me, lighting, it's like the worst thing you've ever seen. So I'm gonna stay away from that. Now, so there's a theme that I've been having with other actors and asking. The mosquito situation seems to be a large part of uh, their memories. How are the mosquitoes for you, especially like being there that much? It's weird because I grew up down in Florida, and I'm kind of used to the mosquitoes. So, yeah, they were really bad. Um, but for for more people than just me, I, I, I mean, we were all wearing pants and, and long sleeve shirts in the middle of summer, which is grueling. Um, but and all in all, like I was all right with it. We had these, we had uh, deep going. Everybody was getting deep poisoning. She got deep poisoning. Kane got deep poisoning. What does it do to you, deep poisoning? Um, I actually had Bell's palsy. <laughs> like, oh my God! Did you film that? We did not. Oh, uh, she, it would have been really good. Yeah. At, from the set, and I was like, "Where did Adrian go?" She's like, "Oh, she's pretty much." I was in the ER. The it was horrible. <laughs> I didn't mean to make a joke. I mean, Bill's palsy is like it was, it was yeah. temporary, but yeah. yeah. Wow, very, very exciting. Anything um, you want to tell us about the film tonight? How? What? What do you think you brought to Hatchet Three that I don't want to say is missing? Because each movie's ramped it up. Yeah. What do you think you added to the Hatchet franchise? I think I added just more of a visual look to it. I think I added um, just more of a of a of, 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 of the flow, keeping it going as fast as you get go. Um, and I just added a more cinematic feel to the thing. I think, in my in my opinion, I wanted to make it look bigger. I wanted to to be like scope and just be able to. And that's why we shot in a real swamp because I knew I could do that there. So, well, we hope the movie doesn't wind up in the swamp. We're very excited to see it, Adrian. Super nice to meet you. I look forward to your role in the movie. We're excited to see Hatchet 3, and uh, what, what are you doing next, by the way? Any? I just directed a thing for Dead Island, uh, the video game, and um, I'm working on two scripts right now to direct, and uh, other than that, I have a movie called The Kitchen Sink that I'm going to operate on in between. Uh-oh. Oh. What do you really think of Derek? Don't hold back. That guy really... He sucks. That's, That's awesome. Oh, he's awesome. <laughs> oh.
Derek, I'm. Nice. I'm asking everyone. Oh, look at that. That is the most Hollywood hug. Let me let me show you the Hollywood handshake. Hollywood handshake. <laughs> Hollywood handshake. Bigger name, bigger name. Yeah. All right, Derek. Nice meeting you. Go to someone that really knows some what they're doing. Nice to meet you both.